What's up everybody? Um, today's video is going to be another DIY install, like a mod. I don't know if this is like what I want my channel to be, just like modding stuff or like how to's, but stuff breaks and I tend to fix it and make a video out of it. So, you know, do that what you will. But if you haven't been following me for a while, you wouldn't know this, but my door panels, the leather insert that is here, I just have like the base GT. So it's just like a solid piece of leather. It's not like pleated or anything. It just fell off and there's a bunch of this like foam, orange, tan, yellow stuff. All right, so I just got home from the gas station and I opened my door and it just immediately falls out. And um, I mean, this isn't taking any pressure at all. So I get to redo this. And I'm not sure what this is, uh, I don't know. It's probably the same thing as the trunk, but it could just be the glue, but you can see it just rolls off. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about that. But now it's, it's everywhere in the car. There's no good way to put it back on. So I thought that that piece over there, you could remove it. So on this side, I removed it and I just found the same material here right here which is bad because that means I have to do all this to the door on the car now another option you have is to take this whole panel off and work with it on like a table but that's a lot of work frankly I don't want to take it off I'm just gonna mask around it and do that but I decided well I'll just make my own inserts you know like I've seen people do like flannel or like that 90s bus material whatever it is you know just something fun and I was like well I could probably do something like that, but I wanted to, uh, I don't know, keep it kind of in the theme of this and not do anything crazy, like high-vis green or something, because if I change the color, then this would look weird. So digging through stuff here at my house and I found some like charcoal suede, so I got that, and then I had to go buy some like foam backing from Joann's maybe, Joann's Fabrics. And then I got my mom, to sew them for me because I don't know how to sew. So she did this. So she made these and as you can tell, it's not black. It's like a dark gray. Again, it's charcoal and these are the pieces I removed. So you have this piece, which was attached to the door. And as you can see on the back, there's nothing really there. So this is unnecessary to move because this adhesive didn't fail. It's like the foam adhesive stuff failed. And that's what's on the back of this. So this fell off and if you like this, you could just skip to this time and just follow the steps where I put it on with um, concrete stuff, whatever. Skip here. Just do what I do here. But if not, you're going to have to find whatever material, use this as a template, and then I would suggest using some foam. Like, you know, it's just real thin, single layer of foam. I don't know exactly what I got. I just like, ah, this looks right. You also don't want it to be too thick because in order to put it back on here, you're gonna have to shove it in this channel right here. So it is a big channel, but you also don't have that much room to work with. Yeah, let me show you how to prep it. So this one's pretty much good. You can sand it a little if you want to get all the fuzziness out, but not a huge deal. So I might just hit it with like 400 grit or so, maybe even rougher than that, maybe 220. Over here, we still have some of this foam stuff and you can see it's fallen onto the door. So we have to vacuum all this out. And once we vacuum it, you're gonna wanna use like a brush to agitate it while you hold the vacuum to it. Once it's all good, uh, we'll mask the area off that we don't want to get any ooh, contact cement on. And I read up 
on a bunch of forums and this one seemed to be like the best thing to use. I was gonna use a uh, 77 adhesive, but 3M one, but decided I can apply this with a brush. I know it worked for sure. This is only like $15 at Lowe's, pretty cheap. You wanted to do friends or you want to charge people to do this, you'd have leftover stuff. So you can use your car as practice and then, you know, make a side hustle out of it. I'm not gonna do that, but let's get vacuuming. Also, just a quick update on how South Carolina is doing. It's gonna do that tomorrow as well. So now that it is all vacuumed and scrubbed and there's nothing falling off or any particles coming off, it's still kind of tacky, which is odd because the other side isn't. Gonna go ahead and mask off anything that I'm not gonna apply the contact cement to. And then before I put any contact cement on here, I'm gonna lay this up and make sure it is the right size. But as you can see, that's roughly what it'll look like. It's a little dark. We're also working with black items, so it's hard to see. So that's kind of what it'll look like. A little bit of contrast, but also nice white quilt stitching. So both inserts are in now and it is a little tricky lining things up because everything's wet. So like, I don't want to touch anything or like, cause if you like put it on, you can't really take it off. It like grabs pretty instantly. So we're just gonna let that set about an hour. Um, on this one, on this side, I did two coats of contact cement. I only think you need one because I also got some bleed through on here. Like the darker spots, that's all the cement coming through. So it'll be interesting what that'll dry like. I don't know if it dries clear or whatnot. I'm sure it'll be harder than the other one, but whatever. And then this one, we only did one. And I think I aligned this one a lot better than that one. But uh, we will have to go back around the edge with like super glue or um, the cement on something I don't I don't know tuck the edges in because I didn't really get them good but yeah now we just let it dry all the way and you also 
want to do this in a ventilated area. Be smart. So it is now all cured and dry and you know I can touch it and whatnot. Where's my flashlight? And again, it's not perfect. Um, like right here you can see it's not cut long enough to tuck in. But the bottom uh, and this carbon wrap was just a test. So there's some super glue that landed on there. It doesn't look too good. But overall it's like just the hair too hair too short here, a hair too short there, a hair too long over there. The passenger side I think came out worse. I had to trim this part right here. And as you can see, I cut it a little too short. I had to trim it after I installed it. Overall for a free replacement, you know, it looks a whole lot better than what was there originally, which was the, not the leather, obviously. So I'll probably redo this when I come back from college, but for now it's on, it's soft, it looks good. I'll probably have to take like a paint pen or a sharpie to make that foam black but I also have enough suede to do another set so I don't know we'll see we'll see how it holds up over the next semester and we'll go from there but with that I'm gonna end today's video if you have any questions or stuff I didn't go over that I forgot to put in the video let me know um, and subscribe while you're at it please quick easy one day mod but uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.